hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about broken bonds was how shubra decided to use another way to defeat samira by using her father so she went to her father to teach her some business so that she can defeat samira let's continue from there Samira asked Kudip about the dress that she should wear. She noticed that Kudip is not paying attention towards her and she asked Proki to bring the specialty which would help her to control Kudip. Meanwhile, Proki gets excited and gives the tea to Kudip, but Kudip refused to drink it due to its bad smell. Samira insists on Kudip and she requests him to have the tea for her and Kudip unwillingly takes a sip for Samira and he runs away saying that he cannot drink it anymore. Whereas, Proki assures Samira that now, Kudip will do everything according to Samira's wish. Shubra meets Raja Daksh and tells him about the matter with Samira. Raja Daksh says that he doesn't want to get involved in between them, to which Shubra tells him that she came to offer him a beneficial deal. Shubra says that if he starts contracting directly to Kudip, leaving Samira aside, then he will get more profit. Raja gets impressed by Shubra and he praises her idea. He advised her to start her own business, to which Shubra refused, saying that she lost her self-confidence when her marriage broke. Raja asks about how Shubra got separated from Kudip, to which Shubra tells him that Kudip got trapped in love with Samira and he left her, and Raja assures Shubra that she will surely be successful soon. Samira rushes towards Kudip and makes him read the mail by Raja. She gets worried because Raja asks for a meeting regarding their contract before renewing it. Samira asks Kudip about the problem and Kudip acts innocent and shouted at Samira for doubting him. Samira apologizes and leaves while Kudip takes a breath of relief and thanks Shubra for being ahead of Samira. Later, Samira asks Kudip to come to Mumbai to visit Raja and Kudip asks Samira to eat something but Samira grabs some fruit and eats it and Kudip smacks, remembering that he has sprinkled medicine to upset stomach in the fruit. Samira suffers from stomach ache and she was not able to go along with Kudip to meet Raja. Later, Kudip meets Raja alone and Raja gets impressed by Kudip and he offers him a job. Kudip refused, saying that he has planned to open his own company, while Raja appreciates Kudip's idea and says that he will surely be his investor. Kudip takes Raja's letter in order to get rid of Samira and Raja says that Kudip only have six months to come out of Samira's clutches. Shubra goes inside Samira's house. Samira rebukes Shubra and Shubra also makes Samira get irritated by her reply. Samira tells Shubra that she and Kudip would earn more money than what they have given to Vedika. Shubra smiles saying that it would be beneficial for her because she can enjoy Kudip's money because she is his real wife and Samira gets frustrated and Shubra leaves. Kudip gets inside Shubra's house while Shubra surprises him with a cake. Shubra reminds Kudip about their promise to celebrate each other's victory against Samira and Kudip cut the cake and feed Shubra. Kudip and Shubra celebrate and Kudip shows his gratitude towards Shubra and he says a speech thanking her, whereas Shubra asks Kudip to be more careful of Samira and she takes the job letter and keeps it in front of God to protect it from evil eyes of Samira. Samira gets restless and she asks Kudip about his interview with Raja but Kudip stays silent and Samira rebukes him for losing her client. Samira gets furious and she keeps taunting Kudip for being a loser. Kudip faces Samira and shows the job letter, saying that Raja got really impressed with him, that he even offered him a job in his company, and Samira is shocked. Samira sees the letter and she reads it, while Kudip smacks thinking about opening his own company, and he murmurs that Raja will be his first client. Samira taunts Kudip and she reminds him about his status. She asks him to remember that he was no one, and she made him and also made his career. Samira scolds Kudip for showing off the letter, to which Kudip replies that he just wanted to share the news with Samira. He points out that Samira is getting jealous of his achievement and he then remembers his motive to destroy Samira. So he agrees and says that Samira helped him, but it was his hard work that made him successful. Kudip tells Samira that he loves her and he wants both of them to achieve everything in their life together. He asks Samira to be thankful for her employees who made her so successful. Samira got angry with Kudip for showing off and mocks him that he can never reach up to her level. Samira angrily tears Kudip's offer letter 
and Kudip tells Samaira that it was just a copy of the original letter. Kudip leave from there, saying that he wants to talk to Shubra regarding some divorce procedure and says that he will celebrate his success with his family because Samaira doesn't have any interest and he leaves. Samaira shouted at Kudip as he is going and she determines to teach him a lesson. At that time, Purki comes there and gives some ashes to Samaira, saying that it will help her to get control over Kudip. Samaira throws the ashes on Purki, saying that she herself can control Kudip and she doesn't need any help. Purki asks that what will Samaira do to control Kudip and Samaira asks her to wait and watch. Kudip visits Shubra's house. Shubra asks him for a sudden arrival, to which he asks if he can get to spend some time with them or not. Shubra welcomes Kudip inside and the kids come there along with Chandrani and they get happy seeing Kudip. Rishi and Roli declares that they will sleep with their father and they get inside their room excitedly. Kudip sits along with Shubra and Shubra asks Kudip about the matter and Kudip replies that Shubra always knows whenever he is not feeling fine and he tells her about the argument that he had with Samira. Kudip tells Shubra that it was necessary for him to get insulted and he deserves everything that is happening to him because he had also done the same with Shubra. Shubra looks at Kudip and Kudip feels guilty for his mistakes and he tells Shubra that he realized his fault when his ego was uttered by Samira. In the morning, Samira calls her lawyer and says that it is time to trap Kudip in a case of 50 million fraud. Purki comes there and asks if Samira haven't slept the whole night to which Samira started laughing and says that she will surely teach Kudip a lesson because he left her to celebrate with Shubra. Samira determines to take revenge from Kudip and she remembers Kudip's awful words and she gets furious. On the other hand, Kudip enjoys with his family. Shubra serves them and he plays with the kids. Then later, they all happily eat together while a song plays in the background. Kudip looks at Shubra and he gets lost in her thought but then he comes back to reality and he says that he is ready to take his leave but the kids request him to stay. They pleaded with him while Chandrani makes them understand that Kudip will come back to them soon and they all agreed. Kudip is about to leave but Shubra warns him to be careful regarding Samira because she must be mad at him and Kudip not. Kudip gets to Samira's place and he mocks her for getting jealous about his Sussex. Samira gets furious and she asks Kudip that where was he the whole night and Kudip replies that he went to discuss about the divorce procedures with Shubra and to celebrate his success as well. Samira comes forward to eat Kudip being angry but Kudip stops her, reminding her that she wasn't ready to celebrate his victory and that is why he went to his family and Samira looks on. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, share it and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.